Here's a bit showing of the inside of the Tanberg Model 11 to show its transport mechanism and operation. Play mode. The pinch roller is engaged. Pause. The pinch roller is let go. Notice the ticker reel continues to spin. But back tension here, combined with the pinch roller not being engaged, is enough to allow the tape to be paused. The flywheel is idler driven. Motor shaft is under here. Drives this idler and then drives the flywheel. Unfortunately, since the idler remains pressed against the motor shaft and flywheel, it has developed a flat spot, and that's why I hear that da -da 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 sound. Here you can see a very fine toothed gear right next to what is really a magnetic tape head. This magnetic tape head picks up the uh, picks up magnetic signals from that rotating gear and the frequency of which depends on the speed. That's the magnetic feedback loop system which goes into control circuitry to keep the motor controlled at a steady speed. Very interesting design for precise control of motor speed for the three speeds. Then there's rewind. The motor shaft goes to a belt to this roller, pressing against this idler, then this idler, then the, the uh, supply reel. This tensioner is removed, and this brake is removed. Also, this brake is removed here to allow free rotation. Here you can see the fast forward in operation. The idler wasn't even bothering to touch very strongly. There's still some slight tension here, but not much. Actually, there's not really any tension here. It's very loose. But you can see the tension of this here. This is for back tension during playback and recording. Now it has back tension, now that it's in forward motion mode. Its tension is controlled by the tension of the tape on this lever. You can see how it moves the spring up and down to control how hard this pad pushes against the supply reel. Also, this roller here pushes up against the tape to add extra pressure down onto the heads. That back tension combined with this roller is what puts pressure against, is what holds the tape up against the heads, as it does not use foam pads. I found where the spring goes. It goes, that spring that I lost, went between here and that hook to hold this down for the fast forward. Well, there was supposed to be a hook right here, and it was plastic and broke off, so... Why they have to use plastic parts at all in this professional machine is a shame. I tried stretching the original spring, broke the original string spring. I had drilled a hole here, got another spring from my little box of guts, boom, and uh, have installed the new spring. For the fast forward. Okay, now fast forward function. Idler goes down where it should go. Idler makes contact with the spool table, real table.
Much better. Is it recording? Fast forward, now works. The manual even stated that the back part can be removed simply by pulling it out. Angle it right, about like this. It can be pulled out pretty easily. How about that, huh? Here is the inside of the unit with the very nice circuit boards. And all the numerous batteries. Yeah, it runs upside down too. Very nice. The boards are easy to remove, at least these ones are. You can literally angle it out and unplug them like, like computer cards. Look at that beautiful circuit board. All original parts. And here's another one down below. Here's the other circuit board. Very nice. Beautiful little circuit board. Yes, this transformer is mounted at an angle for some reason. Here's where they plug in. Very nice, very nicely made machine except for the plastic parts.